Who would wrap their dog's poo in a bag and then throw it on the floor? It makes me so angry. And how far are we away from the bin? 20 steps away. I was very disturbed by what I saw and I think it was the first inkling I had that there was a problem in the oceans regarding plastic pollution. Couldn't sleep that night and when I woke up in the morning I thought I've got to do something about this. You might get down to the beach and it looks perfectly clean but until you walk along and you start just looking down the seaweed and you find tangled up little pieces of net, bits of rope, parts of bottles, cans, that kind of thing, just washed in by the tide, which are much more damaging to marine life and birds. It's hard um, not to feel really quite depressed about it all. I don't want to see that turtle with a straw up its nose. I don't want to see the seal with its neck cut round by fishing net. I don't want to see these things happening to our wildlife, to our natural, beautiful planet we live on. Pat um, had come to us and said that she was setting up a campaign to try and get rid of plastic straws in Cornwall and to make Cornwall a showcase of the plastic free movement in the UK. So we were obviously really, really keen to get involved. I bought all my family one for Christmas. Oh, did you? That was my Christmas yeah. present this year. So everyone got a rose bush Very and nice. an and, and, and a cup. <laughs> I bother because I care. I care enough for my grandchildren to want them to have a little taste of the wonder that I've experienced. And while I can still touch my toes and I can pick stuff off the floor, I won't stop. Oh, wow, in the pond. She did 52 beach cleans last year. I think she puts the rest of us to shame, to be honest. I think all of us could learn something from her, really. I know I'm not making a significant difference, but Action Nan is not going down without a fight. <laughs>